Well, comes in that wooden crate in a box inside of another box. That's the engine. The long tail itself actually is packaged really nice. Seems all right so far. So we got the twister long tail here. Well, this is the one off of Amazon. Came packed real good. Looks good. No directions, but pretty self-explanatory. So on the uh, twister motor, the three blade that comes with these, this is a clone by the way, um, it pushes good, but it's got to be down deep in the water, it's not meant for the surface. Anyway, to get this off, what you have to do is crack this nut loose here, that's your bearing and all that. This is opposite thread. So you want to actually tighten it to loosen it. And it didn't take much. I had to mess with it a little bit. I had to get a pipe wrench on there because I broke my adjustable. Um, to get the prop off, the prop is regular thread. And what I did was took the right angle grinder and I ground it flat on each side so that way I can turn it on and off with a wrench if I have to. You don't have to do that. You could hit, try hitting it with a hammer. But once I uh, got this crack loose, got the vice grips on this, uh, prop came right off without taking the engine apart. This is the twister with a two blade, seven inch. I like it better already. I got about 800 pounds in this boat. Oh yeah.
Twister clones. Got this one. It's a M16 by 2.0 metric thread, regular thread. And all you do is get a two blade uh, long tail prop, different sizes. I started with a seven inch and that was perfect for this little boat by myself. And this clone, which is allegedly seven horsepower with some mild mods. I did valve springs, bigger jet, intake, governor delete. But uh, anyway, the seven inch is just right. It's not really screaming. I mean, it gets the rev out, it planes out. I hit 18 mile an hour. Um, I just tried this high speed one here. This is a bit too much prop. It does move, but I actually lost a little speed. This prop is vicious. It really grabs the water and it really throws up a rooster tail. And it does fit. And like I said, you just tap them for M16 and then just tap them for the set screw. And just tap them nice and gentle. Make sure you got a washer. Actually two washers is nice, but and what I noticed with these is you don't have to tighten the heck out of them. Just snug it up and then set the set screw and it'll stay. See that one, that big high speed prop, that's a number one high speed prop. This thing don't have enough power for that. So I'm gonna, I never tried a six and a half yet, but I gotta add another washer in there, just a little bit. That should be just right. There's all, all this is is a bearing in here, a bearing in there. There's a little spring in there. But I was overthinking it at first. When I first did, I was like, oh man, this is going to push the shaft in and out because the shaft slide on and off the engine. But really, I was just overthinking it. All you do is just thread it, snug it up. Don't even tighten it. It'll tighten itself. That's the only nice thing about these props is you could leave that just like that and start running. It'll be fine. And just put some, uh, I put some grease on actually, so that way I can change it easy. All I need is a hammer. And then lock tight on the set screw. And that's it. And then spin it around, start up, and away you go. Of course, it starts raining. and uh, 275 duration or 275 lift I don't know, I don't know. I don't know.
I swear to God, that thing freed up like three horsepower. No joke. I can't even keep the prop in the water. I'm going to have to go to a bigger prop now. Unbelievable. got here an array of different propellers uh, this is a regular seven inch this is a six and a half high pad let me see six and a half that one was a little bit that would be good for uh, a stock engine bigger boat keep the rpms up the high power was a little bit more aggressive than the six and a half that wasn't bad either um, honestly the seven inch thinner one was the best so far and then i got this number one high speed prop which is a little aggressive for a stock motor um i can't believe how much the stock exhaust restricts it i just made that one today i will look at that um but yeah it with that exhaust on it now the thing is it's louder but it's a, compared to the stock this was a stock. I, I brought it with me just in case someone complained about it being loud down here in the river. But if I could get that a little bit quieter, I cannot believe the power that it has now with that open exhaust, the cam, valve springs, governor removal, uh, the jet. Definitely could use more carburetors, so I'm going to try to make uni next. But first, I want to dial in the prop. I noticed now that it has so much power, I can't even keep it in the water. But anyway.